Hey guys, it's Sarah from Sleepopolis, and today we'll be taking a look at four pillows from my pillow. Now, while these pillows are all made from the same materials, they each offer a different level of support so that no matter your preferred position, you'll be able to find the one that's right for you. Now, some of you may already be familiar with my pillow from the infomercials on TV, but I'm here to take a closer look so that we can see for ourselves whether this is really the world's most comfortable pillow. So as I said, these pillows are all made from the same materials, but the difference is all about the fill power. So starting with the cover fabric, they're all made from 100% cotton, so the covers are gonna be sort of light, airy, and breathable. Inside the pillows is 100% shredded polyfoam, which offers sort of a quick response to pressure, but also a very sort of foldable, shapeable feel. Now, as I said, there's four different fill levels, and the fill levels are categorized by color. Now, as you can see, there's really no visible indication on the pillow itself, so in order to find out which fill level is corresponding with which color, you're just gonna wanna check out the tag, of the care instructions, and the font will be written in the corresponding color. So, in order from least amount of fill to highest amount of fill, it goes yellow first, which again, if you're curious, you just find the, the tag, which is yellow. And you can also kind of tell just by feeling it that this is gonna have the least amount of fill. So it's definitely the flattest, most sort of compressible one. After that goes white, which obviously won't be written in white font because you won't be able to see it, so it's written in black font. But this is technically the white fill, which is one step above the yellow, just sort of going to increase the loft a little bit. Then comes the green, which has, I would say, markedly more fill, definitely a firmer feel to it. And then all the way up to blue, which is definitely the fullest and loftiest fill. So ultimately, among these four pillows, the firmnesses range from soft to medium firm. So that, like I said, no matter your preferred sleeping position, sleepers should be able to find the one that's most compatible for them. Now it's important to note that each pillow comes with instructions to be put in the dryer on high heat for 15 minutes before using it. This is just gonna sort of restore its fluffy nature and kind of help it to bounce back from the very tight packaging that it comes in. Once it's out of the dryer, you should be ready to sleep on these pillows and they should be ready to help you get the sleep your body needs. Okay, so we've seen what these pillows are made of, but we'll never really know what they're all about until we get in there and thoroughly test each one. Let's check it out. Okay, so I've been playing around with these pillows for long enough to know that the green, I think, could potentially be the most versatile. It's not the loftiest, but it's also got, you know, a, a good amount of fill. It doesn't have sort of that really flat, sort of soft, compressible nature that the yellow and white do. And since I'm a combo sleeper, I figure we'll start here. So I'm going to start on my side since that's usually how I like to fall asleep. All right, great. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. The sort of foldable, shapeable nature of the polyfoam really allows me to get that sort of comfort of sort of bunching up the side over here, sort of propping up my, my head just enough so that my head, my neck, my spine are all in alignment. And the polyfoam itself has got a really sort of like fluffy, cushy nature to it. Um, sort of when you press into it, it has a quick response to pressure. Um, and it's not really conforming to your head and neck in the same way that like memory foam does, but it's definitely giving me sort of like, you know, a bouncy sort of cushy lift. So I'm liking this for on my side. Let's see how it is in the supine position. All 
right? Same sort of thing. This is just sort of a very shapeable feel. And I feel like this green fill level is really gonna sort of be, you know, like I said, versatile enough so that I can feel, you know, good pressure relief no matter my position. Now, there's a chance that it could be too lofty for stomach sleeping. So I'm gonna try the yellow or the white for stomach sleeping because we know it's got a lesser amount of fill and is sort of more easily compressed. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see this has just got so much less fill to it than the green does, really easy to flatten. So let's see how it is in the prone position. Perfect. And you know, like I said, this is very flat and it's almost like the weight of my head could rest right on the mattress. So if you want to sort of bunch it up, sort of shape it to adjust the loft, you totally can. Now, because this one is so soft and so flattenable, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna love it for any other position other than stomach sleeping. I know that I'm not gonna enjoy it on my side because you know when I'm in the lateral position and most side sleepers kind of need that extra firmness, that extra support so that your posture is gonna be healthy and you know you're you're supported in your shoulder. But let's see how this is in the supine position. Hmm. Yeah, so the weight of my head is really just sort of sinking right to the bottom of the mattress, which, you know, isn't awful. Some folks kind of like it. Um, some folks prefer a sort of softer, more flattenable pillow. I prefer a little bit more cushion than that. So when it comes to sleeping on my back, I might even prefer one level up from this, which is the white fill. See, and that's what's kind of nice about having four different fill levels. You can kind of mix and match. You could even stack if you wanted to. It's all about sort of finding that perfect comfort zone for you. Now, again, I can already sort of see this is just going to be too flat for lateral sleeping, but I know it's good for stomach sleeping. Yeah, so obviously the lower loft of the white and the yellow are just gonna be sort of more compatible with folks who sleep on their stomachs. Because when you're sleeping in the prone position, of course, you don't want your head or your neck to be elevated in any way. I'm definitely finding the green and definitely the blue to be most conducive to sleeping on your side, just because it's gonna offer that extra level of firmness, that extra support the green I definitely found comfortable in really every position, um, but the lower loft pillows, let's say they're really more built for stomach sleeping. Back sleepers really depends on the level of cushy support that you like. Um, this one, trying in the supine position of the white fill, that's actually, that's actually quite nice. This sort of, it feels like the yellow fill, but it just offers that little bit extra amount of the polyfoam that's gonna sort of conform a little bit more to your head and neck, sort of give you a little bit more cushy support so that your head isn't really resting directly on the mattress. So ultimately, between the four fills, I think just about any style of sleeper could find their perfect comfort zone. I would definitely say that the loftier builds are really gonna be better for side sleepers, especially folks who sort of need that extra support. Same goes for, you know, between the leg support and under the arm huggers. It's really all about preference. I know that when it comes to hugging pillows, I prefer something sort of a little more actually huggable, something with a little more you know, loft to it, so either the green or the blue. Um, but ultimately, between the four of them, I would say that you can probably find your comfort zone with any of these pillows. So there are lots of cool things about these pillows. 
Firstly, my pillow offers four different fill levels, which are going to provide different firmnesses and feels. This way, sleepers can pick the one that's going to be most compatible with their sleep style and their bodies. So stomach sleepers might like the softer, flatter options. Side sleepers probably prefer the medium firm, loftier builds. And back sleepers can probably find some comfort with just about any of these. Not to mention, they're all quite foldable. So you can kind of play around with the shape in order to adjust the loft. Something I love about these pillows is they're all completely machine washable and dryable, which makes caring for them pretty easy. Just wash on a cold, regular cycle and tumble dry on high heat. Now you never have to worry about using too much heat when drying these pillows because it actually just serves to make them fluffier. And lastly, my pillow offers a 60 day money back guarantee. So you can test them out, see if you like them, and if they're not for you, just send them on back for a full refund minus what you paid for shipping. Also, MyPillow offers a 10-year warranty. So if your pillow arrives with any material defects, it'll be promptly replaced free of charge. So there are a few things about these pillows that some folks might consider to be drawbacks. Firstly, while the polyfoam inside these pillows is very shapeable and foldable, it also, in my experience, has the potential to divide within the pillow, sort of rendering some spots a little fuller than others, which can sort of lead to a clumpy feel. Now, the folks at my pillow say, if this does happen, throw it in the dryer on high heat for about 10 minutes or so, and it should be restored to its naturally fluffy self. Speaking of the dryer, something to note is each my pillow comes with instructions to be thrown into the dryer on high heat for 15 minutes before use. This is going to sort of help it recover from being tightly wrapped in plastic and again restore it to its sort of fluffier nature. Now if you don't have a dryer in your home, it's worth noting that some maintenance is required before these pillows are ready to be slept on. And lastly, in my experience rolling around with these pillows, I found the fill to trap a little bit of my body's heat. Now, granted, I am a naturally warm sleeper, so I am extra sensitive to pillows that are going to warm me up even more. But if you're looking for a cooling pillow that's maybe going to offer a little more breathability, it's probably worth testing the My Pillow before you commit. For all the fun details on My Pillow, don't forget to check out my full written review, which you can find by Googling Sleepopolis My Pillow. If you found this review to be helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up, as we'll continue to help you on your search for the perfect bedroom accessories. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and we'd be happy to help. Well, that's all for this pillow review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.